weekend I passed 20,000 followers on Twitch, which is amazing and it's really exciting for me. So I did a, I did a stream to celebrate passing 20,000 followers and in that stream I asked you guys to ask me questions. Just ask anything you want answered and I've selected some of your questions so today that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm just have them all written up here on my second monitor. So I'm just going to look over there, read the questions and just answer them for you. So the first one came from no hack to roll and all of these were posted on Twitter and with the hashtag ask dinky so if you ever want to ask questions for this for these videos or anything like that just add ask dinky as a hashtag in a tweet and that's where I'll be pulling these questions from so the first one came from no hack to roll and the first question is what was the first video game you played and to be honest I don't really remember the very first game that I played I think I was probably three years old three or four because I know I went into school, I went over to my parents a couple uh, couple months ago, and my mom was going through all of the old things that we had growing up, and I had I had a thing for my class that marked down that I got my original NES when I was four, which was like a life achievement. This was like a life achievement timeline for my, whatever class it was, and I had getting a Nintendo at age four. So I know before that I played... Commodore 64 over my grandma's house and then also my mom got like an Atari 2600 So I would guess that the first game I probably played was either the first game I can remember is either Frogger or Pitfall on the Atari So those would probably be the first two games and then there's also a game Sammy Lightfoot on the Commodore 64 So those are pretty much the the first games I ever played honestly I don't remember exactly what the first one was but that's that should answer the question hopefully as much as well as I can remember so the second question came from Miss Maddie Games, and they asked, what fuels your source for horror games? Like Five Nights at Freddy's, Outlast, the games that I played over the over the past year. And I've always liked horror games. I really like horror games. They're not necessarily my favorite genre. RPGs are my favorite genre of video games, but I do, I've always loved horror games and horror movies, things like that. So when I started streaming, October came around, and I said, what better idea than to just stream all horror games for the entire month and I played I made sure to play some of my favorites uh, normally my favorite horror games are Eternal Darkness on the GameCube the original Silent Hill probably the original Resident Evil and then also um, I don't know I guess what I guess those would be my main three three horror games so what I did was I wanted to play those games and then also take a vote on what other games other horror games people wanted me to play so I went through and I did that and I got through Silent Hill 1. I played um, a bunch of other ones like Outlast, PT Silent Hills was the first game that I played on the PS4 and that game scared the crap out of me. Probably the easiest, probably easily the scariest game I've ever played so that, that was pretty much what my idea was for October and then that led into Five Nights at Freddy's and I've been streaming that a ton which kind of leads into the next question which is asked by Kiki Bun, what drew you to play Five Nights at Freddy's? And it's kind of a funny story because I had heard about Five Nights at Freddy's and I'd seen a couple of other people stream it and it looked like a cool game, but I I had never played it and I didn't really get what was going on. So when you watch it, when you watch somebody play Five Nights at Freddy's, it's totally different than when you're playing it. So what happened was I started October and I wanted to vote on what horror games I should play. I picked out like 30 of them. As you can tell from my collection behind me, I have a ton of horror games. So I, I put up a vote on my website and I said, hey, what games do you, do you guys want me to play? I was definitely playing the original, like my favorite, Silent Hill and stuff like that. And the, easily the highest voted game was Five Nights at Freddy's. So what I did is I held off and I said, I'm going to play that right before Halloween. And that's exactly what I ended up doing. I played it a couple days before Halloween and I got hooked. It was so much fun, and then I heard about 420 mode in that, so I was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta beat that. So I kept playing it, and then right after I beat 420 mode, within a week, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 came out. So I picked that up, and I started playing it, and obviously you guys know I played the crap out of Five Nights at Freddy's. So another another question related to horror games is, uh, Miyu-chan asks, when can we see more Fatal Frame? And... Oh my goodness, I'd never played a Fatal Frame game. I had all, I owned them, and they're somewhat rare games, so I bought them on PS2 a couple years ago. And I just played the first one 
in October, which is I think where Miyuchan came into my stream for the first time. I'm not sure, but oh man, they're in my top top five horror games from now on. Oh, they were so good. So I went through Fatal Frame one, and then I went through Fatal Frame two. So the next time you'll see Fatal Frame is probably next Halloween, next October. I'll probably play through uh, Fatal Frame three. So and throughout the whole horror month, I think I beat. Um, I think I beat 14 games. They're all listed on my Twitch channel. So let's see. The next question comes from Dark FNAF334. And their their Twitter name is Megan is Great. And it says <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love Epic Sax twerking Phantom Freddy? That is absolutely like a 12 out of 10. Hands down. I love the twerking Phantom Freddy. Nico, personal thank you for sending me that it makes me happy every time it goes off it seriously does <laughs> oh my gosh all right let's see what the next question is minutio says if you had to choose which is your favorite five nights at freddy's game and which do i think is the hardest oh, see that's a tough question i don't have a favorite five nights at freddy's game my favorite one would well five nights at freddy's one and five nights at freddy's two are tied for me those would be my favorites five nights at freddy's 3 is not as much my favorite um the reason for it is, is five nights at freddy's 1 is really creepy it has that original it, original shock of the series it, you, you'll never get that feeling back in another game and the game was really unique in how it scared you and how the suspense built up so that feeling i'll never forget and i mean the, the jump scares were really bad in that game so I like that one for the how scary it is, but then Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is so much fun to play. That one is the hardest. The Golden Freddy mode in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is easily harder than any of the other challenges in the other games. But the, the thing that I love about Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and part of the other questions that I'll go into, is it's so good to stream with because you can play the most difficult challenges, but since you have to hold the mask up, you get to actually read chat and that's why I stream that game so much is because I can read chat and play the game constantly so it was a really nice balance and that leads into the next question here which is uh, which is from doggy loves minecraft and they say why is five nights at freddy's your most common game when I stream and part of the reason is so many people like five nights at freddy's I mean there's so many people on twitch that that I played the first one and people really liked it and I got really good at the game, so people came in and they didn't know how to beat levels, or the knights, and I'd be able to beat them. So people came in and they were able to learn how to beat the knights, and a lot of people beat knights because they watched, like, I gave them tips and stuff like that. But the main reason is the Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you can't read chat nearly as well as I would have liked, because when I go back to play 420 mode in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I can't read chat. That entire time, you just can't look away. You can't stop. So you have to play for whatever it is, seven minutes, and then you can look at chat and catch up. But in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you can play Golden Freddy mode, and I can look at chat, I can be answering a question. You put on the mask for five seconds, and I can actually look over to chat, get one question, and answer it, and just, you keep putting the mask on. So it's a perfect game to stream to be able to interact with the chat, and that's pretty much why I stream that game so much. I mean, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, you don't really have that. When you're in the Nightmare Aggressive mode, you can't really look at the chat nearly as much, so that's why it's harder to stream for me. And it's not as fun to stream a game where I can't interact with the chat. That's the main reason that I want to stream and interact with all of you guys. And, you know, actually chat and have fun and all that stuff. And, like, a lot of the times all the jokes will pass right by in the chat because I'm playing. And I, and I look over and I'm like, what was the joke? I missed it, you know. So and that's pretty much why I played Five Nights at Freddy's 2 so much. And then the next question is another Five Nights at Freddy's one. What is my favorite animatronic? Definitely the original Foxy. The original Foxy is just... I love the original Foxy. When it runs down the hallway, it's just terrifying. And you and you have to keep an eye on Foxy the whole time in the first game. And just that... Oh, man. It's just, it's just creepy. And who doesn't like Foxy, right? And then my second favorite would be the Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Because it's missing its face and it's just freaking creepy <laughs> so all right let's see what the next question is oh and the favorite animatronic came from uh, Vriska Blue Blood the next question is from Turtle Cake 
And she asks, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, color is absolutely blue. It's always been blue. Always will be. So definitely blue. Uh, let's see. What's the next question? Dun, dun, dun. Toy Bonnie Babe asks, what do you expect from Five Nights at Freddy's 4? What do you think it'll be like? And also the next question is from Forever Loyal. And their question is, what do you think the full story of the Five Nights at Freddy's chain is all together? And I have a video that's going to be coming up, hopefully by the end of the week, where it's going to answer what I think is going to happen for Five Nights at Freddy's 4. And it's also going to go over the whole timeline of what I think has happened throughout the whole chain. So keep an eye out for that. The next question comes from Wife Skillium. And she asks, what is your biggest accomplishment so far? And I don't know, I don't know if this is like a life accomplishment or a, or a YouTuber streaming one or whatever. The biggest life accomplishment I think I have, it was making the decision to switch from electrical engineering job. I did not like it. And I switched over to web development. I mean, that was probably the biggest decision I made and I love it. My new job, I love it. I love learning how to code things. So that's probably the biggest accomplishment that I've done so far. Just actually getting into a career that I loved, even though I didn't go to college for it. And then gaming wise is just Twitch. I mean, getting this many followers, being able to interact with all of you guys and just having so much fun streaming. I did not expect it at all. I did this 365 day challenge and I, I did, I never imagined. I thought I might have like a thousand, a thousand people watching, you know, like or followers and things like that. And I streamed five nights at Freddy's three and had 4,500, 5,000 people watching at a time. That's like, Oh man, that's a huge accomplishment for me. That's crazy. And it was so much fun and all of you are a part of it. So it's not it's not like I'm just doing it by myself. You guys are what makes it fun and it's and it's awesome for me. Definitely a blast. And then the last question comes from East Skillium and he asks, "What are your plans for day 365?" <laughs> and honestly, I don't have any concrete plans for 365 or 366. Yeah, what are your plans for day 366? And like I said before, I'm doing the 365 day challenge. So I stream every day for an entire year. I think we're on 250 something. Once day 366 comes, I don't know if I'm going to take a vacation or take at least a day off just to probably start, you know, to actually end it because I have that personality where if I go up to, you know, 400 or whatever, I'm not going to want to stop and then I'll extend the, extend the thing. But I'm still definitely planning on streaming probably five days a week for sure. And then uh, hopefully be able to branch back out into the YouTube a little bit. Do YouTube and then also code my website and, you know, add some features onto there because my, my website is completely uh, collecting focused. And I now that I'm doing all this streaming stuff, I'd really like to make tools that people can use in their streams. You know, my, play, my music playlist feature, people can put that into their streams. That's what I use to listen to my music. So that's pretty much what I have planned, just to kind of branch out, still do all the gaming stuff, still do a ton of streaming, and then just kind of branch out into the YouTube, back back into the YouTube, I guess just to say. So, and then there was one more thing that a ton of people asked, and they say, what's the story behind your username? The three that I have here specific are Ender Gamer, It's Gedru, and Rain Raven. And this story could be a video in itself, so I will say in this video, I'll, I'll give a bit, every time I do one of these, I'll, I'll just give a bit of information, just a little bit, keep the mystery alive. But it has to do with a mystery girl from college. So that's all I'll give you on where my name came from, from a mystery girl at college. So we'll start there. But uh, if you guys want me to answer more questions like this, I don't know if you guys are going to like the q and I was just streaming during the 20,000 follower and somebody brought it up and people seem to like the idea of it. So I figured I'll just answer the questions. And then if you guys want, want me to answer more questions or do this like once a week or, you know, once a month or something like that, just leave comments down below and just leave a question. Uh, if I get enough questions, then I'll do another one. And depending on how many questions we get, we'll, you know, I'll do more videos. And then also uh, just hit the like button. Let me know that you actually like these videos and hopefully do some more questions in the future. But 20,000 followers, I, I can't even express how much that actually means to me. To be able to be streaming and interact with all of you, be able to come home every day from work, whether it's a good day at work, bad day at work, come on, 
every single time I end up laughing I end up joking around you guys crack me up all the quotes that are that are saved in my chat like oh my gosh it's just so much fun I don't I mean I don't even know how to how to thank you guys I try and do giveaways I try and do things like this where I just kind of you know give you some information about you know things about myself pretty much and uh, I don't know try and try and do as much as I can to give back to you guys so that's that's the goal hopefully uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the questions there there weren't too many super embarrassing ones I was surprised I thought people were gonna ask a bunch of stupid stuff <laughs> but uh, yeah so thank you guys so much 20,000 followers we're almost at 40,000 subscribers on YouTube it means the world it's amazing and it makes coming home from work every single day to stream with you guys just an absolute blast so I'm Dinky Dana I will see you guys on my stream tomorrow and uh, we're gonna be finishing up Conker's Bad Fur Day one of uh, probably the funniest game I've ever played so just wanted to post this video guys thank you and I will see you in the next stream peace